Have a little flutter at the post office. The more you buy, the more you save. The Empire Theatre in Leicester Square was the magnet that drew a vast crowd of Londoners who came to see all they could of those attending the Royal Film Performance. Young French star Brigitte Bardot, for example. Lawrence Harvey. Anita Eckberg with her husband Anthony Steele. And Vera Allen. Mr John Davis and his wife Dinah Sheridan. Joan Crawford with her husband. Victor Mature, Norman Wisdom, John Gregson, who plays Captain Bell in the film, and Mrs. Arthur Miller, who you probably know even better as Marilyn Munro. There were, of course, many more stars and personalities of the film world assembled in the theatre. And now the big moment, the arrival of the Queen, who was received by Mr. Reginald Bromhead, the president of the Cinematograph Trade Benevolent Fund. Then the Queen, followed by Princess Margaret, proceeded upstairs. Admiral of the fleet, Lord Mountbatten, was also in the royal party. Among those to be presented were Lady Harwood, widow of Commodore Harwood, Admiral Sir Edward Parry, Achilles, and Admiral Sir Charles Woodhouse, Ajax. Now Sir Tom O'Brien is presented. Then Lady Harwood. Captain Bell of Exeter and Admiral Woodhouse. Film stars included Joan Crawford, John Gregson, Anita Eckberg, A. E. Matthews, the veteran. Her Majesty, talking with Miss Munro, remarked that they were neighbours at Windsor. Now, Norman Wisdom. The Queen accepted a bouquet from six-year-old Nicholas Douglas Morris before she proceeded to take her place for the performance of The Battle of the River Plate. Many will remember the newsreel pictures of that famous victory. Here's a flashback of HMS Exeter arriving home. The cheering was led by Winston Churchill. Exeter, repeatedly hit during the fight, was commanded by Captain Bell. And here are some typical members of the ship's company. Remember this remark by one of them? And uh, when the relief came down, he said they were serving out a drop of rum, which was uh, given to us by the King, I take it. Finally, the Nazi pocket battleship Admiral Graf Spee scuttled and on fire. This was certainly a picture to cheer the people of Britain in the dark days of 1939.